Hey, hey, today I'm gonna make some little egg whites. So this is the container that I'm using to cook the egg whites in. I just spritzed them with a little bit of olive oil. I like to spray olive oil because it goes in quick. Right here I have a green onion that I'm just gonna chop up finely. We'll get that sauteing. These come together really quick. Good, so then we're just gonna turn it, give it a little chop this way. There we go. And we'll get all that into our pot that's heating up. And while that is cooking, we're gonna cook up a little bit of bok choy. Went to the farmer's market, this is what they had, this is what I made. So I just roll up the leaves like so. We're just gonna shake out those leaves. And they'll wilt down really nicely. Use all the white stock as well. And I'm just gonna leave that little top end right there. And we'll get those in our pan. And then you want the smallest little pieces of veggies possible. I'm gonna take my zucchini and I'm just gonna grate it. It'll keep it cooking quick, but it'll also make it easier so that our egg whites don't get chunky. Nobody wants chunky egg white bites. Now, I don't eat cheese right now because I'm trying to give my, my gut a little rest. So about half of it you need to work. Get that in our pot. To that, we're gonna add, I'm gonna turn this so you can see my pot. Don't mind my messy kitchen. You know, we keep it real here. You can see the pot going. All right, add a little salt. And grab a little pepper. I'm gonna bring you back over here. So you can see my next step. Right here I have some liquid egg white. Shake that up. And a little here for our veggies. And we're making this in real time, so. We'll just take a few seconds here. Good, we're just trying to get that wilted down, not completely cooked through because it does have to go in the oven. So we're gonna grab our pan. I'm gonna grab a spoon so that was not prepared. And you can do this with any vegetables you have. I have created sweet potato, I have done greens, I have done all kinds of leftover veggies, you know, shredded carrots, you name it, you can put it in there. That's what makes this great. And when I was eating cheese, you better believe I put the cheese in there. All right, now I'm just gonna spoon in our veg. And I like a lot. So give a good spoonful in each one of these. Let's see if I can tilt it down a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. Sorry about that. So everybody gets the veggies. And you know, when they wanna cooperate. Center there. Like I said, it's great when you have cheese, but it's still really tasty when you don't. So it is a okay. It is part of a gut protocol. So I'm not doing eggs. I'm sorry. I'm not doing dairy. I'm not doing wheat or any gluten, um, any soy. I'm not doing any corn. So lots of things to eliminate for a little while just to give my gut a little rest. Always a good idea. So now that I've got our veggies in here nice and evenly, I'm gonna go ahead and just shake these egg whites and open it, that would be helpful. And then I'm just gonna fill it up to the top, just like that. And then I'll add a pinch more seasoning to it and you'll be good to go in the oven. There we go. And just like that, we are in good shape. Let's get a little bit of a seasoning in here. Let's see, where did I put my other one? Hold on one sec. A little bit of Italian seasoning in it. I'm just give it a little shake on top. And as it starts to cook, it'll rise up there. Good. And if you are eating cheese, now would be a great time to just put a little bit in and out. Feta works great, goat cheese works great, any kind of shredded cheese. I do recommend that you shred your own cheese because when you buy the pre-shredded cheese, you are also getting the anti-caking agents that they put in there. 
Oftentimes it's cornstarch, sometimes it's flour, but you know what? You don't really need all that. You really want to keep it as clean as possible. So this is what I recommend. Then once they come out, you can pop them out, individually wrap them so they're ready to go. You can hit them with some fresh herbs. I mean, you have a lot of choices there. So let's get these in there and I'll show you what they look like. So here we go. They came out of the oven and you can see, I like to really cook them a lot. I don't like any kind of runny egg white at all. So you can see they're nice and firm. And once they cool, they pop out really easily in these silicone molds. If you do have any other molds, um, you can actually put the little cupcake liners in it and that will make it a little bit easier. So do whatever is easier for you. And I just realized you can see my refrigerator with all the magnets on there for my grandson. Brings me back to when my kids were little. Anyway, I hope that you all have a great day. I hope that you'll try this. Remember, you could add anything. You could add a little chopped up bacon. You can add some ham for some extra protein. Um, but whatever you like, it's a great way to get prepared for the week. You can make them, individually wrap them, throw them in the fridge, microwave them a little bit, take them to go. Cold, they're fine. So enjoy them. All right, my friends. I'd love to hear back from you. Bye.